Welcome to the Spa Girls podcast, the self-publishing podcast for authors. You're in the right place for the best writing, marketing, publishing advice, plus interviews with industry experts and best-selling authors. I'm Shah Barrett. I'm Cheryl Phipps. And I'm Wendy Valor, and welcome everyone. Um, hey Ms. Turtles is not with us today. She's no, unwell. she's not well, poor she's little chicken. Well, our poor little <laughs> girl. Mm. Okay, well today we're going to talk about heroes, and we're going to talk about writing a compelling hero. Mm-hmm. So we've got five points we're going to work around. Um, I'm a real hero-driven writer. I like to write good heroes. I'm not so much mm. as good at, with the heroines, but mm. that's that's. I like the the banter and the you know I mm. love a good hero, but so. We're going to start with the first point, which is connection. Yes. And Shah's going to explain that to Ooh, us. Oh, am I? Yeah. Well, I feel like this is what kind of keeps us reading. You know, you yeah. want to see that that mm-hmm. emotional connection. They might not necessarily like each other. Mm-hmm. They might not. But there's some, some connection, you know, that physical sparky zing between it's them. Gotta be, it's got to be obvious, right? You've got to know yeah. that as a reader. Mm-hmm. You've got to buy that like this yeah. you gotta just know that the you know as a reader that these guys are meant to be together yeah mm-hmm. but they might not know this at this point but you know so it's mm. got, you've got to have that connection man that's why Especially we read in a, romance yeah exactly <laughs> if, it, if it's romance it's got to be there it can't mm-hmm. be like any old mm-hmm. doodle do in the costco queue it's got to be that particular dude yeah. there as it's it were like when you're watching a movie right and the two yeah. the two couple the two the hero and the hero and mate and you just know instantly right yeah spitting at each you need other. to pick yeah. you like, like okay. dogs you <laughs> like in your head you're like oh there we are yeah, yeah. my husband hates that i'll go those are the going to be the two that end up. Yeah. Doing. So how do you know that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's that it's that connection. Um, yeah. You know, it's the it's the. I think for me, it's the awareness that they have of each other. Like I say, yeah. it doesn't necessarily mean that they might like each other, or but it's you've just they've just got a there's that awareness. Mm. So yeah. yeah, that the old look across the room. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. me. Well, well, uh, well, that's that's one way, isn't it? Or, or yeah. they can come in and do something really annoying. Yeah, but, yeah. But there's something. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. So I guess it moves on to point two, which is creating conflict exactly. from your characters. Mm. Well, I mean, it would be boring book, wouldn't it? As if they yeah. met, fell in love in the Costco yeah. queue, and that yeah. was the end of the story. Like, there's mm, got to yeah. be conflict. Exactly. I don't know why I'm bringing yeah. up Costco queues no, no, here. We odd, just really. had our local. It's not really a remote romantic area, is it? Mm. It really isn't. That's well, pushing they, it. They had to hurry home with their frozen goods, and they, <laughs> they, they didn't swap phone numbers, you know. And so now there you go. That's what I mean. <laughs> there's a search <Yeah>. on. <laughs> exactly, but there's got to be. I mean. You know the whole reason we're reading this is for them to overcome the conflict so the conflict yes. you know obviously can be external but it's also got to be internal as well they can't just yeah. be like okay you're the one for me let's let's mm. get it on like yeah. it, there's got to be what's a stopping conflict them from, against that from yeah. Being, yeah being together what's stopping them from just you know falling into each other's arms and being in love i mean it's... exactly she the sister of his best friend or yeah. His, yeah. you know like there has mm. to be a reason there that is keeping them apart um and it's an internal struggle and it's what mm. drives the book forward i yeah. think it's really and it's got to come from the characters it yes. can come from externally as well like you can have you know yeah. but but the romance you want it coming mm. from the characters mm. yeah I think it's the story that they tell themselves why yeah. they can't be together that's yeah. that's kind of like the whole purpose of the the book, isn't it? Really, is to weave that story through, yeah, and come to a happy resolution. Absolutely. And, and if we were talking about examples of something like that, we would probably talk about Pride and Prejudice, right? Mm. Yeah, mm. totally. Absolutely. You know? I mean, one of the I think one of the greatest romance heroes that I mean, we're still talking about it what 200 and something years later since Jane <laughs> yeah. Austen wrote yeah. him I mean the guy's got longevity let's give yeah, him that yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But, and we all have yeah. our and now isn't it funny when you say Darcy we all have our own as readers our own image so for me it's usually Colin Firth from 1995 yeah. series mm-hmm. for other people it might be um was it Matthew, Matthew McFadden yeah, from yeah. the Kira Knightley one I mean mm. Kira Knightley just annoys me intensely so I can't I can't be apologies to Kira if she's watching though yeah no look I'm sure she's a lovely person but she's, she just, just doesn't do it as that character no, you. no. That's fine. That's so fine. I'm 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 she's not basically very much bonded to the 1995 yeah. no one series. Would know, right? but other no people would be bonded to the book Darcy you yeah. know yes. Um, yes. 
That's yeah. So fine. what what what's <laughs> going on with Darcy? Uh, that's creating the conflict from that character. So he doesn't think she's good enough for him. Yeah, well, it's, it's those... not good enough for him. Yeah, she's not ideal. She's not the no. pigeonhole that he has decided. No. Well, he or society or a bit of both have decided Pressure from everyone. His yes. aunt. He yeah. he's meant to be marrying an equal, and yeah. his his pride, his own pride, yeah. and he is prejudiced mm. against her just as she is against him. So and to him, yeah. and all of these things are insurmountable here, uh, insurmountable hurdles to to, to yeah. climb. Yeah, but he he wants to, right? Yeah. So that's a mm. fantastic conflict. An um, undeniable attraction, there's despite, an undeniable, yeah, know, between the two of them. When he's looking really, across the room yeah, at the ball, they love to hate each mm. other, right? So mm. exactly, you know, but. The key and that goes is, back to that connection. You've yeah. got that kind of sparring thing, and but you've also got um, just yeah. It's it's you know that there's there's a reason behind his assumptions about her as well. That you know, That's um, right. and I mean, until we realise that he's just not an arrogant thingy, you yeah. know, like he's not. We, when we first see him, we think, well, gosh, she's arrogant. I mean, what the, what's yeah. this game? But as soon as we start, it unfolds and, and Jane mm. Austen weaves all of those sort of intricacies through it and, and mm. the subplots and the things that are going on underneath, you realise that in actual fact, he's a man that is, mm. is, 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 is had restrictions his entire life and beliefs mm. his entire life. And for him to rise above those, it's got to be something pretty, he's mm. got to be really strong. And protect his sister as well, of course. Yeah, you know, exactly. that's a lot of that. But and so I think that is a really important point that a car a hero needs flaws as well. Yeah. And yeah. I just, you know, just a note here: we are talking about your yeah, traditional male female um, romance, yeah. but obviously this applies to any oh, type of male, you know, gendering male, female, or female, any type anything. of thing. You've got to yeah. have characters with flaws; yeah. they mm. can't be perfect. Yeah, no, because then it's that... boring. That, that actually goes through the, the years, through the decades, through, you know, as time progresses, those fundamentals actually don't change because we all have perceptions of who we are mm -hmm. and where we want our life to go. Yep. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of people, not everybody. Yeah. But, you know, um, peer pressure is a big thing. Yeah. And, yeah. and society and 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 our own family, our, our own history is telling us that this is where we're going or this is mm -hmm. where we should want to go. Yeah. And so, yeah. yeah. It's better than the works. Yeah. I mean, what makes us keep coming back to reading romance? What makes mm. us keep coming back to watching romance? What makes us it's that story, isn't it, of how they get together. Mm. I mean, let's face it, man meets woman, fall in love, right? We know that, yeah. but mm. it's the middle part. It's yeah. the building, that's the why we're reading. And carving. That's what makes a good story. It's yeah, creating absolutely. Creating the depths that you know a hero has. Yeah. Um, yeah, so absolutely. I guess the next step then to talk about is making equal. Yeah. And, and I think this is also what makes going back to um, Pride and Prejudice compelling is that they they're not um, economic equals and mm -hmm. obviously her being a woman and him being a man they're also not, but they're equal intellectual equals and I think yes. that's what you want to see you don't want to see she absolutely holds her own against him you know those those mm -hmm. lovely kind of barbed <laughs> witty yeah. conversations and challenging and you don't want to see either character kind of dominating the other including mm. you know particularly frankly these days you don't want to see the the hero dominating mm. the heroine like mm. it's uh you know unless it's a fun sexy time but we're yeah, not yeah, talking yeah. about that we're no. talking about you took it there though eh? i yeah, did yeah. but you know yeah. um you want to see yeah i i think that's really attractive when they're mm equals when there's levels where they they can meet each other and that. and the thing is equality comes in you know it comes in different things just because one is sort of born you know wealthy and rich and the other is not does not mean that to say that they're on on okay maybe it doesn't look like they're equal you yeah know, because they live different lives and mm -hmm. uh he's got all the money in the world she doesn't or vice versa um but they are mm -hmm. still equals intellectually uh and in, mm. in, in their morals and their and beliefs think, yeah. and, and, and yeah. things like that so those are the sort of things you really need to work on that that there there has to be a thread there that will make them be equals and i think you also want to see them as a reader equally involved from the heart as well you don't yeah. want one that's indifferent on either side you want mm. you know you want them both to be all in kind of thing at the end yeah. you know and I, and I think too when, when you're writing about your hero having one perspective 
that um, you want to see the change. Yeah. And perhaps that was the way he was brought up to think. But because of her or vice versa, yeah. um, that those those thoughts are suddenly challenged and changed. And I think that the that is part of the hero or heroine, but in this case the hero is seeing that growth. Yeah. Like it's it's not sort of left field, it's just a natural evolution, but it takes this other person to make them see it. Yeah. And I think that's a you know, all part of the conflict, obviously. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, um, I, sorry, go, Sha. No, I was just going to say, which is aligned to, which is in terms of equal, it's complementary strengths. And this mm. is, as a reader, this is what I love, where one is good at something, and I love it when it's sort of turned around, say maybe she's particularly good at, I don't know, shooting or hunting mm. or something mm. that maybe you would expect him to be or he's not, mm. or, you know, he might be this big, you know, strong alpha guy that, doesn't like a spider and she's you know a mm, entomologist exactly. kind of thing like that's always yeah. fun to turn yeah. that kind of thing and I love the compliment I think the complementary strengths and kind of being better and the like as you were just saying Cheryl bringing each other's yeah. qualities yes. out too yes. I think that, that moment goes... where she's where one of the other steps in when yeah. you're vulnerable because while they have that perceived strength that you know mm. that they're indomitable but they're actually not yeah and, and the other one will step in and go yeah and, and rescue them or save them or solve mm. their problems and then you're like huh, yeah. That's, yeah that's interesting yeah. you know exactly. like or help that person mm. support them so that they can solve their own problems yes. kind of thing it doesn't yes. always have to be in it and i think this is where the kind of the the tropes and just giving them a little tweak can often work really well, you know. Um, well, how many times have we gone all gaga over seeing it, you know, obviously we're reading it, but seeing it in our mind, a big strong guy who's having to look after a child. Yeah. Or, or exactly. hold a baby or something yeah. like that. Yeah. I mean, you know, most yeah. of us are kind of like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> and that's exactly. right. And I mean, we talk about physical appearance and I think that's that's a massive part of being a hero. Yeah, yeah. And I, I mean, I like the big buff guys. You know, I just always have. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't mind them tall with a little bit rangy and stuff. All, but everyone's different there. Yeah. You know, like a hero mm -hmm. is made up differently on how we we perceive them to be. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, what your likes might be different from what I like. You know. And I think mm -hmm. I feel like as readers, we often put our own our own like if a, if I'm reading a book and the coloring maybe isn't mm -hmm. my preference, as it were. You know, whether it's mm -hmm. eye color or hair color or or yeah. even the first name, you often mm -hmm. put your own kind yeah. of ideal Spin hero on. one yeah. don't yeah. you you yeah. kind of yeah. sort of stick that over it's like a transparency you mm -hmm. put it over the top yeah. <laughs> you can that, kind of that fits better yeah, yeah. Okay, better. yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah appearances you know did when you read a book and the and you open the page and the first few in the in the hero isn't to your liking is that you done is it important to you that you like the hero straight away story is very important to yeah. me so i'm not going to say that, that it's a deal breaker if he's not quite what I'm expecting. Mm. So, so he better be good in a lot of other ways. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, immediate <laughs> turn off for me is, a, you know, a sexist or a misogynist. Yes. And yes. I I struggle with that. Um, and yet I'm a lot far... of people like them, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, I mean... And I think your reading taste maybe change as you get as you yeah. grow as a reader yeah. and, yeah. and, and sure. age as well. Yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. um, my tolerance level for people in general has <laughs> diminished yeah. considerably. Yeah. So yeah. maybe yeah. Yeah. <laughs> being behaving yeah. badly is not always a good thing. Yeah, but, you know. I, I I really you know want to see respect there. They might not have to like each other, but I want to see respect. Um, and so yeah. I struggle with some of maybe the darker stuff mm -hmm. um but that's me and you know not absolutely not yucking anybody's yum here because like you say everybody <laughs> reads their own yeah. i still think we put all uh, every single one of us applies our own filter to what mm -hmm. we're reading and yeah, so we definitely. will sh look at things in a different light we can all read the same book and get something yes, different out of it absolutely yeah. and i mean how many times have we said that that somebody's loved something and and i'm like yeah. oh, oh, really yeah. no, uh, have you got a favorite hero that you like in a book or a movie or shark well i've already said so for mm. me it's it's colin Firth's darcy yeah. um and 
I, I really like paranormal romance and I think it's the, the type I like is the alpha hero with a heart and usually mm. with a bit of a tortured sort of background, mm, you know. Yeah. It's sort of my yeah. jam. Yeah. yeah. I must admit I'm a I, I quite like the Sinister series and the first book, Devil Sinister. I'm I oh, must yeah. admit, I really Stephanie like Stephanie Lawrence. Think, mm. Stephanie Lawrence. I just I, yeah, I mean Devil's I, Bride. Devil's yeah, Bride. I mean, I haven't read it for a while and I think as you get get older and everything changes going back is not always a good thing don't you sometimes wish you could read a book for the first time yes. book that you love you yes. could read it for the very yeah. first mm. time yeah mm. i mean i think for i think he's that that hero that i really like and that he has a huge uh responsibilities on him yeah so he's got a big family mm. he's got to care mm. for he comes across as a real hard ass aloof guy yeah. um but he's a bit of an island because he has to be because he's got all this responsibility uh i think yeah those sort of heroes i really like because mm -hmm. um you know they need support from someone and they've never really had that yeah. while their family love them mm -hmm. they've just their family's just like i'll get on with it you know that's yeah. you you're the boss mm -hmm. uh and then the woman comes along you know and that's and, often the way with people that are very competent and strong like yeah. that and quiet that's often yeah. people assume that they're fine you know yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah. again, it's seeing that uh, for the heroine to see behind that and see the mm. vulnerability, I think, yeah. which mm. is another point we had. We did a quit list and we talked about the vulnerability. And I think yeah. that's really important. Um, again, mm -hmm. going back to some of the books that I like, it's where you actually see that vulnerability in a hero because mm. it makes them human mm. you know I when they're really wanna... pared down like where they've, they've gone through the the point where they're like arrogant and they're like they're not mm. going to be pushed around by any woman and rah 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 mm. and then sort of almost a black moment happens and yeah. they're like mm. alone she's gone and it's like they're just stripped bare you know yeah. like mm. there's nothing like I, I can't I can't survive without her or I can't mm. survive you know and that mm. that mm. moment I love that moment that's one of my mm. favorites yeah um you know at, where they where they all of a sudden realize that they they've changed they have to change and she's mm. been a huge part of that I think a good example is a series two of the Bridgertons with Anthony went yeah, through that, huge. didn't he? You know, yeah. he was very similar to Devil since yeah. and that he was a family responsibility from a young age or his father died, mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. And yeah, and, and that was, it was such a different storytelling on that series. And I think it was, it had far more for me depth of character revealed through him, you know, yeah. as a hero. Yeah. Another hero that I absolutely love is Jamie from Outlander. Mm. yeah you know just is gonna... it because of his cult wendy and his yeah, is. scottish yeah, brogue like and his why muscles? do you like him yeah, of course it's I, you know well when you guys were just talking then i and because i knew you were going to bring him up and, and i i love jamie as well um is the the key thing for me is that complete selflessness when he's yes. pushing her to go back through the stones yeah. with and his you know, child yeah. knowing that she's going back to her husband like yeah. she's like he's sending her back to another man because that is preferable than her dying yeah and I just you know I, I'm you know I mean that just gets yeah me. yeah but also in the same series is also Roger mm. who I can't I can't say enough about because his growth through through the books is just absolutely fantastic and what he would do and what he would accept yeah you know like going through the stones with with brianna um he didn't have to do that no. but he couldn't not do it and and, and then that, kidnapped by the you know the indians and uh, it's yeah. all on. Oh, yeah and accepting mm. potentially another man's baby yeah no i exactly. yeah. if you haven't read it i'm sorry these are big spoilers <laughs> <laughs> Such a great and, I, and i think also the other book if we we're going along that would be into the wilderness um and Sarah Donati yeah. Sarah Donati with Na oh, Nathaniel okay. Nathaniel and um oh, like in the know. clouds yeah like in the clouds another one yeah. very Jamie yeah. hero um you know there are yeah. so many heroes like that uh yeah. and and I mean that's why we keep going back because yeah. yeah. as Cheryl's talking about it she's getting all she's getting I do I do I'm terrible <laughs> eyed because yeah. Yeah. so well written Yes, so well written. So, so well, well written heroes, you know, because yeah. they they're two very different. Uh, you know, you would almost say that Roger was a was a, a beta hero yeah. at the beginning, yeah. right? Yeah. But he evolves into you know, yeah. a real tough guy. So yeah. that's all good too. But you know, even before that, his character was still good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah, I mean, that's the thing: character traits. But you have to have a hero that is going to, you know, it's going to evoke emotion, right? Mm. That's it. I think that's so true. Yeah. 
you've got to evoke emotion in the reader uh, yeah. and, and we've got to want to keep coming back to them and they you know for all their angsty and we you know the cowboys or whatever how, for mm. all of their bad there's so much good yes and it's in the underlining you know all the bs is because they're unsure they're vulnerable and you know she's the one to find it and yeah. I think that's the honesty of life sort of um, portrayed in a book, isn't it? Mm. And that's yeah. what we want to see. We want to see that, I guess, good wins over evil, but, you know, somebody can grow and be who you would like, you know, them to be. Yeah, exactly. absolutely. Mm. And I think for me, um, having them with a sense of humour is really important yeah, as well. Yes, um, yes. And, Yeah. I, I don't know. I, just I agree with that. And it can be yeah. dry and it can be. Yeah. But I think also, I think it's, and for me, I'm a huge person who writes a supporting cast because for me, it's a supporting cast of brothers or yes. family members that yeah. bring out the humour and can. Yes. Because I yeah. think it's really important to be able to laugh at the hero, like them laugh yeah. at themselves. Yeah. I, I, to see, I don't like a hero that takes himself too seriously. Exactly. Mm. You yeah, know, like I like totally a hero agree. who who can see the lighter side and things, and and mm. that also, I think, is a little eye eye opener into what they are, what their character mm. is. Yeah, you know, absolutely. I think, I think absolutely. So maybe we could just briefly mention different types of um different types of heroes. Like we've talked mm. about the alpha hero that mm -hmm. you know is, I guess, the leader of the pack. Um, mm. uh, for, for me. What, what an alpha hero means to me is often they're kind of a loner as well, mm, like yeah. maybe through circumstance or through position in life that they're just, mm. you know, the... Um, but it could be a loner within their thoughts. Like they can live in a yeah. family. Like I've got a couple of uh, real alpha heroes that live within their family environment, but they yeah. have had that responsibility from yes. birth or whatever, and mm. that has made them... So their siblings don't really even know yeah. what is going on within them and the turmoil mm. they're living with. It takes the woman to come in yeah. to get it out of them, you know? Yeah, 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 exactly. And I feel like they're... I don't know, competent is the best way of it. Like they make decisions and they, they mm. you know, the buck stops with them and, and that's really attractive, you know, yeah. <laughs> in, a, yeah. in a pinch. It's good to have somebody yeah. that's like, yep. <laughs> Basically just ride in, grab me on your yes. horse and let's go, buddy. Yeah. And I think <laughs> also, and, and let's face it, what are we reading for? We want to see him affected by a woman that has never happened before to him kind of mm. thing. Yeah. You know, yeah. you want to be... Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's an awesome thing to read. You know, mm -hmm. um, again, going back to the whole Darcy and Elizabeth, you know, um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the whole yeah. Darcy Elizabeth thing. Um, yeah. There's so many great heroes, isn't there, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what's, the, what's another sort of hero? So there's a beta hero. And for mm -hmm. me, a beta hero, um, I'm mm -hmm. going to use a TV series here in Schitt's Creek. And to me, um, uh not patrick the vet oh gosh what was his name with um i don't know i've never seen shit's greek so I've oh it's, it's a br brilliant says. series so talk about what is a beta hero it's he's strong but he's he's not necessarily a loner he's um i don't know i feel like he's he's just not quite as tough maybe yeah, like, but in his own way <clears throat> He's strong, but not maybe ex as externally tough. Mm, yeah, yeah, like physically to look at or? No, you can still have the physical. Um, yeah. Ted, Ted, Ted and Alexis, oh, Ted yeah, the vet, yeah. sorry, yeah. in a shit mm. street. Yeah. Um, yeah. I feel like he's more in touch with his feelings, which sounds, a, you know, could sound a little like, yeah, just, and he maybe is a bit more chattier. To the yep. heroine um, a bit mm. more communicative maybe, maybe more not quite friend. so closed so would off would be like a friend someone who's a, like a Could friend well be yeah and would turn absolutely into, i yeah, would yeah. you know i'd sort of i guess categorize yeah. like the enemies to lovers maybe would be more suitable yeah. for the alpha hero yeah. and maybe the friends to lovers more the beta because let's face it a friend is going to be more of that um yeah i don't know more communicative of, yeah. sorry of the heroine yeah. So what else um, have we got in the hero line? Um, often the for the beta, mm. I feel like also they're often a family man, so they're like yeah. they've you know maybe a bit more with the kids mm. or the could be a mummy family boy. or that yeah. kind of mm. thing. Yeah, mm. um, and they kind of maybe are a bit more aware of their own emotional issues. Yeah. Yeah. 
Not necessarily a bad thing. So more of a new age hero, really. Yeah. It can be. Yeah. I think especially these days, yeah. 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 Age hero probably. yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. And I think we've got past the point, hopefully, we've evolved as a as a society where it's it's not seen as a weakness to acknowledge one's own weaknesses anymore. Mm. Whereas yeah. mm. in days mm-hmm. gone by, I mean, you know, 60s and 70s, you know, men didn't wear pink and all of this sort of, you know, mm. boys don't cry. That whole, we we're raised mm. like that. And I yeah. think that hope, um, thankfully, that has evolved away from that. And people are talking openly about, mm. you know, mm. whatever issues and that kind of thing. So I think that's still, you can still have a very sexy better hero. A lot of the, um, I find some maybe some of the shorter romances um, that I enjoy reading are beta heroes, perhaps because the alpha guy needs he's like a he's like a crab he needs kind of cracking mm. open a bit longer maybe <laughs> yeah. you need a bit more word I don't know that's just my time. And then I of think... course we've got the bad boy hero Wendy yeah. that's your that's yeah, your category that's mate yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do like a bad boy hero or ex bad boy like bad yeah boy yeah you good, don't yeah. who yeah. yes they've still got the rough edges you mm. know I, I like I like hero i think heroes can be cracked open by the woman but also their friends yeah you know like i think having yeah. a, best friend a best friend for a yeah. hero mm. is you know who's known them from when they were young and all and very are very insightful to as to who mm. they are mm. i think that that is a real uh way to grow your hero mm. yeah you know or well, somebody that's been through t- tough times with them and and has yeah. seen them at their at their lowest and, yeah because you know. there's always that moment where they have a, a sort yeah. of a, a moment where they come to a reckoning isn't there and it's usually yeah. with a parent or a friend or a, yes. you know the, the local coffee shop owner whatever and yeah. they have that moment and that's usually you know when they really realize that change mm. is afoot you know mm-hmm. um so yeah i mean i love bad boy heroes i must admit I'm a, yeah so do i i think that yeah that's my fave um yeah. i do to a certain extent i don't i don't like um them to be too aggressive yeah yeah but i don't like them you know like bossing the uh, oh no no that you know. that's it but then you know like again some people like that but yeah, yeah. um but um I'm, I'm i'm a little bit like i i like a heroine to be able to you know be able to be heard and and you can and only do that. And that's what we're going back before when we said they need to be equals in some way. Yeah. And I mm. think that's really mm. attractive as a reader, you know. Yeah. Mm. Oh, like attracts me to a hero and as well as to a hero sort of the thing, challenge, you know? the challenge yeah. that they set, totally. like, set for each other because totally. you know they're not willing to accept the other's point of view. But yeah, one of my faves is a tortured hero, um, not necessarily mm-hmm. physically mm-hmm. tortured, although some of the military romances possibly yes, have yeah. that. But it's more sort of like a. a I guess emotionally tortured yeah. or emotionally they've had a, they've had a past and they, wounded they're, they're um, hiding from it or yeah. living with it and keeping it it's always a good good gritty kind of yeah yeah and the heroine conflict is usually the one to to see through it or mm-hmm. uh, to see you know again do... that's Sorry, often i i personally think that's often uh in paranormal romance particularly maybe paranormal romance from a generation of books ago 10 you know i'm thinking of Christine Fian's Carpathians or Carpathians, um, they were kind of tort- all tortured. <laughs> and, mm. and they, yeah, I just, they were, I just ate those up like candy, man. Yeah, were good, yeah, that yeah. was such a good series. I, I must admit, uh, one of the series that I like that has got a real range of heroes from Beta to Alpha is the Bootleg yeah. Spring series. And that's yeah. written by Lucy Scorum and Claire Kingsley. And, yeah. And it's like you can tell it, you know, there are some that are, you know, they're all very different heroes, um, mm. and and yet all incredibly likable and and lovable. But I think a lot of that to do is to do with the town itself and the people yeah. that are, the, the the you know the the cast involved in it. But they yeah. are great heroes. It's and that's talent, different. being able to write different types. Because oh yeah. I think yeah. as writers, often we tend to to kind of drift towards one type don't we yeah. that comes maybe a little familiar, easier perhaps yeah yeah yeah, yeah. we do yeah. and 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 that well, i was talking to my daughter about this the other day and i was like oh gosh i feel like i write the same hero all the time and she's like yeah but you know like the supporting cast is always different the story is always different and the thing yeah. is people come back to your books because they love what how you write yeah it's just yeah. different variations on what you've always done so you know yeah. like i like three or four heroes i write and they just rotate mm. 
yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if, you, yeah. if you brought it down to that, I mean, every romance is the same, isn't exactly. it? Really? Exactly. Exactly. True romance. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and I think in some mm. ways that's kind of reassuring as a writer mm. because it's, you could give, a group of 10 writers the same okay the description of the hero mm. and the same description of the heroine and even the conflict and they would all be written differently because it's what of we course. bring to the table yeah, yeah. so mm. you don't have to reinvent the wheel on this one you know no, don't. and you know overthinking you know you mm. can overthink it i mean mm. i i'm like that all the time oh. like, okay i've written you know what 50 books and i'm like mm. okay what can i do different this time yeah yeah you know yeah. My, and my daughters were saying to me or the kids were always saying even why do different it's what yeah. people love mm. yeah mm. You know? i think you can be in the danger of um in danger of actually taking something from everything and mashing it together mm. instead of really focusing on you know whether they're a tortured hero or whether the they're the alpha is, yeah. you know yeah. you just yeah. I feel like you need to know the hero's conflict before you start. Even have an idea of it, you know, mm -hmm. that will direct you in terms of what he, you know, what what he's carrying or mm -hmm. not carrying, you know, kind mm -hmm. of will dictate. One I think that's interesting, and it's something. I mean, I've been reading Mills and Boone Harlequin uh, romance category romance since I was eleven, which is forty plus years ago, and. Um, back then the playboy hero was really huge like yeah. he was you know was. beating women all over the world yes, and yes. but she was the one that's going to set him in the, and and i just i just cannot i just don't bond with that no, <laughs> not now no. and i wonder is that a is that a generational thing is it you or know society? i don't know yeah. is it a society it's i mean you know now, maybe do, do playboys exist I, I think sure now, do. I don't know. I mean, they might think they might exist in their own minds, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure that anybody would hold them up as a, yeah, this is who I want to well, be. Well, well, now because we've become so so aware and, and so equal, male, female, whatever, mm -hmm. um, you know, yeah. is it not right to say that a, a woman could be, you know, the same exactly. in that active way? Oh, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> so, absolutely. Yeah. And so, I mean, yeah, I yeah. don't know. It's just I, I'd be interested just, in anybody's we, listeners I, what their thoughts are on this. You our, know, our Playboy heroes still. That's right. Our yeah. love of what we like in a hero has changed, right? We've mm. we just acknowledged that. So if you if yeah. you had to do your top three things that you love in a hero, what would mm. they be, Cher? Um, I think they need to be tortured. I think they do need to be. Um, they they. Pretty much most of the time they're going to be an alpha hero. Yeah. But they're also going to have that sensitive side. That yeah. Sensitivity, I think, well, you know, just, yeah. I don't want them to be narcissistic. No. No, no, no narcissistic. No, no, no narcissist. What about you, Sha? For, for me, there's competence. I find that really attractive, that they're really good at something. <clears throat> um, you know, I find that, and a sense of humour. But, <clears throat> again, that kind of emotional, um, yeah, probably that tortured <clears throat> kind of, wounding yeah. i i that's it makes a compelling read for me this is mm -hmm. i just like to add this is not what i'm looking for in real life <laughs> 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 purely fictional books only <laughs> for me i like an alpha hero but i like a hero who doesn't take themselves too seriously yeah so, exactly so they take yeah. themselves seriously in what in their everyday life but they are, yeah. they can also take a take a look at themselves and see yeah, you know, the there's a humility factor. there yeah, as well. Humility there. I yeah. love a vulnerability that yeah. for me. I like them to be vulnerable and I like them to be very alpha as well. Um, yeah. And I like them to really love either a friend or family or community. There's got to be one person they bond with and they have a real yeah. softness mm. for within yeah. their lives, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, nice. Yeah, yeah, so that's pretty much me. I think yeah. we're probably okay. getting close to We are. Wrapping. So just in the comments, if you're watching this on YouTube or if you're mm. listening to this, or maybe send us an email or pop a comment, but I would really curious as to what – you know, have we missed out any hero mm. types mm. that you love that we well, should cover off boat. in future? Mm -hmm. And are Playboy heroes still valid? <laughs> but also, yeah, what I mean, the thing is, you have to remember this is our take on it. Oh, yeah. And we're very different from what yeah. someone maybe. Absolutely. Younger mm. or. Yeah, older. that's it. And you that's know, the like, beauty so of the romance genre. Our, there is. Our feeling. I mean, and if Trudy was here, she'd be probably different again. 
Oh, um, undoubtedly. Hero. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this is our take on it. But what heroes are important. So getting your heroes right Absolutely. Think, is massive. And that's just what I wanted to end with. Make your hero someone that you would love. Yes, to meet. absolutely. Um, a compelling hero. Yeah. Yeah. And and a, just a big thank you to all the Patreon um, yes. subscribers out there, man. You're our heroes. You're our heroes. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Loving us. Uh, enjoying the coffee. Yeah. Enjoying our coffees. And we're enjoying you and our superstars group. So yeah. come along and join us if you want to. And yeah, if you'd like to find more about that, it's patreon.com forward slash bargirls podcast and support the show. And we'd really, really, really appreciate it. And we can be found all over the place. It's all years. over the place. And likewise, if you're listening to this on a podcast app, if you love what you're hearing and um, would like to leave us a little review or a little rating, we'd really appreciate that too. That just yeah, helps us cool. get found in the charts. So awesome. very much appreciated. Thank and you. And we will be back with you uh, next week. Yeah. Okay. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.